We're going to start the job of cleaning the inside up a little bit. As you can see, it needs a good clean. So we're going to move all the things out of the back and out of the front into the boot, ready for the guy to come and collect what he needs out of there, and then we can give you a good clean. So you can see, we're still looking fairly bad, even once we've cleared out all the rubbish. The mats have been thrown, they are no good. I'm going to get the cash over on the go. I say the mats are going in the bins, got a hole in them, we'll get new mats. We're obviously going to have to take the seats out, as you can see underneath, everything is just absolutely caked in dust. This is going to take some cleaning, but we'll give it a good makeover. Now we found these tornado guns to be a really good tool in helping get into little gaps and crevices and get things clean. Let's see how it works in here. Now the downside of these tornado guns is every time you use it around the area you have to hoover and it creates a mess again. But after two or three goes you get everything out from the gaps and corners that's loose and then you can hoover it all up and it does make a lot better job. Now I've valeted some cars in my time and I find it quite therapeutic and I enjoy cleaning them. But this has probably got to be one of the worst I've done. I mean look at this dust that's coming up out of the floor carpet. That's been hoovered and looked fairly clean and then using a tornado on it and my god this is bad. Um, this took five, six attempts at blowing it out, hoovering, blowing it out, hoovering and obviously this put a load of mess over the rest of the car. So I was going back and forth and hoovering everywhere, but eventually we got it something like. So we're on to the final footwell. We worked his way around, um, did the rear first, then moved into the drivers, and obviously then into passenger footwell. I mean, we've spent an hour and a half, nearly two hours so far on getting the carpets clean and we've still got the seats to do, all the plastics to wipe down. Luckily we're not going to have to take the seats out because the little tornado gun that we've been using it allows you to blow it under all the seat rails and under the seats. It does create the mess going around the car which you have to re-hoover a number of times. But I think it's a quicker thing to do than taking the seats out and still allows you to do a proper cleaning job. And even with the seats out, you'd still have to use a tornado gun to get the deep ingrained dust and muck out the carpet. So you're going to create the mess and have to hoover the same number of times. The only difference is you're going to be spending time taking the seats out. We're now going to use the AutoSmart tornado gun, which also has uh, liquid in there. So we use Brisk. That one is like a refresher, cleaner. So it helps to rejuvenate and get rid of any bad smells 
but also the detergent liquid also helps to do a, a bit of a deeper clean than just using the air. Obviously the parcel shelf, once you've used the liquid, it comes up really well. It's not perfect. The shelf's not in brilliant condition, but it certainly looks a lot better than it did. So before we start to wet back the seats to get rid of all the stains, we're going to wipe down all the plastics, all the door cards, all the central plastics, centre console, back of the seats. There's a good layer of dust all over them, especially from using the tornado to clean the carpets. And I really want to get rid of all the surface dust um, out of the car and then we can work on giving the seats a good wet back and then that will be a, um, a reasonable basic clean to start with. We'll get the rest of the work done that the car needs doing, get the MOT done, and then we'll do a final ballot at that point. But as it is, it's getting into a stage where I'm happy to sit in it um, before you got in it and got out dirtier than before you got in, even in your work clothes. Um, as it is now, it's looking a lot better, um, and I can't wait to get this finished. Now there is some marks on the door cards, obviously it's been a builder's car and he's used it for work, putting tools in so there's marks on the door cards, broken speaker girl on the driver's rear, various little things like that but I'm going to try and get as many things replaced and repaired as we can. Um, the value of the car has got a ceiling, um, it's got 180,000 on the clock, it, I mean it's going to have a new clutch and fly wheel in it and various other things. So it's going to be a good car to buy when it's done and we'll make it as good as we can but we will have to draw a line somewhere on the things that we're repairing and replacing. Now when we started wet back in the seats you can see they're coming up well. We're using the Karsha Puzzy, um, really good tool. I've had it probably 10 years now, not used it very much but I've recently got it out and got it set back up again. Um, it's really good, um, it gets a lot of the dirt out and it cleans better, it gets rid of smells as well, so it leaves a nice fragrance in there. We've got the proper cache of tablets for using it. You can see it's still leaving a few stains on there, so we get the Autosmart Tornado gun on those, the wet one, and that actually removes the stains and then allows us to go back over with this and it gives us um, a nice clean seat again. They just need to dry out now. There's also a few marks in the leather seats where I'm guessing tools have been sat on them, especially on the rear seats where the leather's been stretched. So I'm going to try an old trick um, of getting a steam iron on those and the steam generally tightens the leather up and gets rid of the creases and the marks. So I'll hopefully have that in a video as well later on in the series. So I've just got the um, Artsmart Tornado set up again with the fluid turned on full. Basically, you just go over the stain a few times, the air blasts the fluid in, and what the wet vac can't do, this will generally remove. Um, not anything other than maybe glues and super glues that I've not been able to get out previously. Um, but this has worked, as you can see, the stain's gone. We'll get the wet vac back on it, and um, we're good to go to the next seat.
So we're coming to the end of what is approximately a four hour interior valet at this moment in time. Um, obviously we've wet backed all the seats, it's been quite a fully clean, it needed it though. Um, but we've got the car to a point where um, the interior now looks reasonable. It's going to have another valet to finish off, um, the leather will all get treated. Everything will get cleaned in the crevices, so we'll go round all the dash gaps with a brush and things like that. Just finish off and give it some final detailing. So the interior will actually look 95% of what you should do. Obviously there's some marks and some bits of damage on door cards, the odd pink in the seats and things like that. Those kind of things are expected on a car of this age. But what we want to do is make the car at a standard that when somebody comes to look at it they're happy to buy it knowing the mileage, knowing the age, knowing the condition and it's only going to be a, a couple of grand car, it's not going to be anything extravagant but it will give somebody um, a decent car that's quite high spec and hopefully they'll be happy with it. This is the aftermath of a three hour cleaning session as you can see there is a massive difference we have wet back to all the seats, all the carpets have been cleaned, the rear has had all the seats wet back and we're going to steam the leather to make that go back to shape so that'll look sweet soon. As you can see there's some general marks on the backs of the panels and on the door cards which there's nothing we can do about. We may get door cards and tidy it up a little bit more but as you can see it is a totally different car to what we started with three hours ago it's been some hard graft my old knees are creaking the wind is blowing in seeds but in general we're now looking a whole lot better than what we were. For some final cleaning, things like that mark on the dash we'll get off at a later date with some tire and glue remover. We've got to be a bit more intricate in this cleaning, but what I wanted to do was get the bulk of it, something like, just to show some progress and get a video made.